Buck drops his guard as he unconsciously realizes that this act that he is perpetrating, unchanged by all that has happened to him, is worth abandoning. Something in his sister is calling out to him, and the story that has been bewitching him all through the parade is quivering on his tongue. He clears his throat, and the voice that he remembers from his boyhood here returns to him unbidden. Pris, you remember that story from the Bible Brother Ted used to tell about Lazarus and the rich man? How the rich man asks Father Abraham to dig his finger in some water and cool his tongue because he's down in the flames of hell? And Abraham says he can't because there's a chasm between them. Yes, I remember that story. There's a song about it, too. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I feel like, he said. There's this chasm between me and everybody. Like I'm cut off. Like I can't explain what it is. But there it is. It's big and deep, and nobody can hear me over it. There ain't no chasm, but It's just you and me. Oh, right now there ain't or it don't seem like it. Everything's sweet as pie, but the other gentleman's got his own ideas. Newman squinted when he heard the term. The other gentleman? That's what our preacher used to call the devil. He did that rather than call him by name. That's what Bax said. The other gentleman's got his own ideas. So why listen to him, Diana says? Because sometimes, not always, but sometimes it feels like I'm working for him. We all feel that way back, but you know you don't. But I could tell that from the preacher this morning. He shook my hand like he was afraid something was hiding in my palm and was going to bite him. He prayed this long prayer about how what we do in life follows us into eternity, something like that. I'm afraid, Pris. Of what? Of losing all this, I guess. You saw all that happened to me today. I got a parade through downtown. I got people asking me to sign my name to pieces of paper for them. People I don't know who don't even care about me now, but they feel like they should. I got people all over this town wanting to buy me drinks that they must know I'd spit back in their face. All these people pawing for me, and I don't want to turn loose of that. 